Hi everyone, my name is Parminder Batra and I'm the CEO of Track and Protect. We understand how important staff safety is, and so today we'll be talking about the Track and Protect Safety Button, where we provide employee safety at the touch of a button. So what we're here to do today is simply to show you what Track and Protect does. And the key things that we found when we developed our product was that hotels, hoteliers, housekeepers said, we want a solution that's easy to use, easy to deploy, does what it's supposed to, lets us know when someone's in distress, but then is also economical and affordable. Well, with Track and Protect safety buttons, the big thing is that it's one-click activation. These are our safety buttons. And as you'll see, I have mine on a lanyard. You can wear it on a lanyard, you can wear it on a master key, and we recommend that. Well, here you'll notice that the room says 102. And the hub is on, I've actually got it plugged on. The green light is flashing, which tells you that it's working. And we're going to go into the app here. And the reason I wanna show you the app here is that you know a lot of times you have to log into an app to be able to get the alerts. Because again, our goal is to take friction out of the system. So if a responder comes into work, they shouldn't have to remember that, oh, I have to log in in order to be able to get the alerts. They should simply just be able to get the alerts. And so here I'll press the button and I'll press it until the green light goes on, which is about three seconds. Now you'll see that the system is working and you can see the message came through. As you can see, we have incident number 14548 here and location confirmation in progress. So we're able to open that up and we see that there's two SOS alerts. The goal of that is to have people become aware there's an incident and they need to leave. So as you're walking out, you get another one that says approximate location room 102. If you recall, the hub that we're using here, we've labeled it as room 102. Now then it says confirm location room 102. And that's doing within every 12 seconds or so where it's giving you that update. And if I was to leave here and go to another area, it would actually come up as updated location room wherever I am then. So here, now what the responder would do is the responder would go into the app and basically log in and say, okay, let's look at what the active alerts are. Here we can see that it's in room 102, it's been going on for one minute, and which button it is. So we're going to end the alert and we're going to say, this is a demo test. And then basically now what we can do is we can go in and we can add pictures. We can do various things. So we'll add a picture of the camera and <laughs> I've got staff here that you'll be able to see. So these are real time notes being made and someone can be off-site, someone could be out of the country and still be able to log in and look at the incident report. And another thing they'll see is how long it lasted. And fun fact, they'll be actually be able to see, okay, well, was it a false alarm? Was it a major injury, minor injury, a test or other? So in this case, we'll just say it was a test and we'll hit done and you'll see that that's been categorized. So here now we can see the list of everything. We can see history, we can see insights, how many days without incident, what was the average time to respond. But most importantly, what you saw was that you can get the alerts in multiple ways. And then there's a desktop alert. And the, this is great for small security teams or perhaps with no security team where they want to install that at their front desk desktops and make sure that someone is always responding. And also when you have a security team, let's be honest, they're not always looking at the screen in front of them or you may have one or two people looking at the screen and not everyone. So how do you get the alert? This is how you get the alert at the front desk desktop. It's pretty obnoxious, but that's the goal of it is to get people's attention and have them respond. This button actually stays on for 30 minutes. So as I mentioned, it gives you the updated location for when someone moves because we're not tracking people when this is not being used. So it's when it's not being pressed, it's actually in a deep sleep mode. So when it, when someone presses it, it act, it's activated. It's activated for 30 minutes to allow you 30 minutes of tracking to be able to find that person and provide assistance. So to get more information about our product, about your jurisdictional requirements or brand mandates, please feel free to contact us at sales at track and protect. That's T-R-A-K-N, the word protect.com.